Hello, peeps, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. We're now up episode 3, so let's begin. Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. <sighs> Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone yeah. out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, I'm glad and I know he's you're dead. a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! Uh, wait, what? The, what? the block... The block, the block a wasn't there. Of food and supplies back here. The you're block right. was gone. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandit's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Yeah. Well, they stop getting food from them. Yep. We know that. Why aren't they running? <sighs> oh dang, the pharmacy good isn't looking so good right now. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. If Kenny's still pissed at me, like, I, I can't believe this. I did one thing against him. Oh, man. You made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon, I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. We should go. Motel's run its course, and it's not safe. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's dug in. Yeah, well. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Yes, we'll try. Looks like she's had it. What yeah, now? A question. I'll find another way up. I better get a move on. Uh, oh, get pushed. Push. We can push. We can push. We can push the jeep. Mm. Is it in neutral? Uh, huh. Looks like it still works. Oh, so... I guess I could get the winch. Lily's not doing so good, huh? She'll be fine. If you say so, you're the only one she seems to give a damn about anymore. Well, you and Clem. Which seems to be really hard to pull. Yeah, right. All right.
Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, it seems like there's a winch control in this car that possesses a winch. How amazing. Your girl's still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? I haven't asked. You even talk to that girl anymore? Oh, come on. Let's go. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. What'd he say? He wanted to know if Herschel's son somehow made it. Pretty sure he knows he didn't. Don't worry. You made out like a hero in his eyes. It's not like that. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Oh, shit! Jesus, are you okay? No, Dick, I'm shot. Now get off here. No, no, no what the fuck is that? Scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. She's gonna get us killed. No shit. Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this mess. I don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their homes. Yeah, I think Kenny's right. How the fuck did she manage to stay alive that long? We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. time now. There's just a bunch of stuff left. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Oh, Jimmy, help! Come on, Kenny. that. 
didn't you? Bitch? This fucking bitch! You trying to left me to left leave me to die. Dang. Okay. Dang, the bandits <laughs> had some fun. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. We'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are going. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We have to go eventually, Lily. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. It could be so much worse. When's the last time someone got bitten? Are you counting the St. John's? Jesus, Ben. We're all going a little nuts. But we can't tear each other apart. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. What about medicine? What about medicine? Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! Yeah, it will. You know. What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! She wants to masturbate. Sorry about that. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! I love how he's still Things are coming clean to shaven, head. except for his that. mustache. Well, I think you did good today, and I find myself thinking that most days. Oh, thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Oh, I got a minute, all right.
Okay. My printer just decided to start randomly. Talk to Lily yet? No, not yet. I will. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. I think about you too. Oh. Um, awkward. <laughs> Our group is small. You're small. <laughs> You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. I'll tell Kenny. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed. And telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? Yeah. I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Yeah. Don't call me small. But you're small. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Uh, I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. I'm gonna go tell Kitty I'm a convicted killer. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Yeah? What do you got? It's serious. Okay, should I sit down? Come on. <sighs> I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. It wasn't for touching kids, was it? <laughs> Come on. No, it wasn't. Because we got two here. I killed a guy in a fight. Should I be worried there's anything else in your past that's gonna come out? No. Good. But you should know. If we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. Aw, oh, come on. Where's Clemmy? I think I already told her, but... Yeah, I still think I should retell her. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car, and I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can uh, go on back to your things. Mm. Okay. Can I tell Lily? I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? Well, I wanted to call the just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things.
for real. Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. Mm. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. Yeah. A mystery. I Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? No. What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. You can't help. And if you tell anybody, it will be trouble. Secrecy. Did you hear what I just said? I won't tell a soul. The part about not helping? You can't help. I will live in the shadows. <laughs> Looks like he's going to help you anyways. Oh, dang it. We'll go talk to Carly again. I uh, talked to Kenny about who I am. And? I don't know. Feels like I just gave him ammo if we ever have to make any tough decisions when it comes to a head count. Ah, uh, well, don't worry. I talked to Clementine about things. How'd she mm -hmm. handle it? I don't know. She's tough to read. She adores you. Don't worry. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know. This place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. Yeah. Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Oh. <laughs> it's just like, fuck off. Fuck you. Uh. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Aw. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah, that'd be a good thing to know. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. 